so my parents agree with it they find unimai as like a close uh, university that is not so many there's not so many students here so i have like better opportunity initially i started my diploma back in 2017 So I decided to continue my degree here with a lot of credit transfer and and the fee is affordable to me to continue my degree here lah. In my perspective is that uh, firstly is that I am offered a full scholarship from foundation until degree and also I found that the um, courses that is um, offered in Unimai are really high demand and it's really uh, good to be um, adventured Uh, by the students. Uh, the first time I knew about it, I saw in the website. I can see that they offer a lot of scholarships, a lot of opportunities for students um, to get into Unimai. Because of that, I ventured out to Unimai and I applied for the scholarship and got it. Well, to be honest, I find Unimai on Google. I was googling for uh, the course. Uh, I was actually engaged quite a few times by the management team, and I also went to one of the uh, Unimai um, trips uh, to Penang. So uh, from that day, I was um, offered a full scholarship based on my uh, trial SPM, and then uh, once I got into the, um, I mean the real result of SPM, then uh, I found it Unimai is. The place where I want to pursue my studies. Yeah. Where I found Unimai is, is from my friend. Um, his name is Ahmad, and he did a vlog from Unimai, and I found it very interesting. Uh, I used to go to uh, a school before this, and in eighth grade, I took programming classes. So from there, I was exposed with. Um, Programming languages and everything related to ICT, and from there is actually is when I started to develop interest in ICT field. It was quite a uh, challenging for me in ICT since it's a zero knowledge course for me. Uh, from that day, I uh, we try to learn a lot, uh, engage the lecturers. Then once came to degree, I find out that technology is diverse enough in many things. So I thought ICT is the best choice I made. Okay, uh, for me, ICT is a thing that is interesting for us to um, explore, and also I am the uh, actually the go-to person in the family or friends if they have any technical problems with their laptops or with their mobile phones. So I uh, I am the go-to person, and at that time I find that the um, IT industry is really great. And also the um, programs or the topics that will be taught uh, for us is um, interesting and high demand. Yeah. Back in school days, I got exposed by my brother-in-law, which is worse in the uh, IT industry. So I got um, I got interested by seeing him work, and also in the creative part as well. I see him and learn from him a bit even before coming into uni. So from there, I said to myself. That I would like to venture venture to this industry. Uh, my favorite subject for uh, when I was studying in diploma in cybersecurity is uh, networking subjects. Uh, it was taught by Mr. Saiful Ridwan. And what my who's my favorite lecturer? Uh, okay, my favorite lecturer is all lecturers are my favorite. Yay! Uh, well, my favorite course is statistics, which is taught by Dr. Shariba. Uh, definitely, she is my favorite lecturer since she has many stories to share with us. Although our class is online, but she makes sure the class is engaged all the time without any boringness, lah. Uh, for me, in terms of my favorite course is uh, Mr. V Notes on um, HTML. Uh, the reason is because I. Uh, I got the opportunity to create um, all the websites from scratch, and I got to see uh, whatever codings that I've written and the end result. It is really satisfying for me. But uh, but in terms of the favorite lecturer, as I has mentioned in my speech, would be Mr. Gopi because he is the one who keeps on pushing me uh, towards my limits, and then uh, he keeps on motivating me and also the rest of the BBA students as well uh, to keep on going and not giving up. My favorite course is. Um, arts and design, I think it's the most fun class. 
uh, you can explore all the uniques uh, of arts, getting to know every single technique, uh, and you can interpret it in IT as well. And for my favorite lecturer, it would be Dr. Johanita. She's the best ever. She guide me through from A to Z, everything. She helped me a lot. I think so thankful for her, and I'm grateful. Firstly, is community, friends, and fun. Uh, it's more to I ICT related course, uh, boutique concept, and interesting lectures over here. Uh, knowledge roller coaster ride. Um, it's fun. Um, togetherness. Um, teamwork. Although you, although in university life, you're going to have fun, hang out a lot with your friends and everything. Still, uh, try to manage your academic life and try to balance, find the balance between those academic life and also the lifestyle that you're looking for and have fun. Uh, my advice is do step out from your comfort zone, try to meet many people and make your connections strong. For me, for all the juniors, uh, my advice is that it's okay to not have everything sorted out. Uh, at a uh, first time and you will find the way um, along the journey in Unimai and embrace the moment, uh, don't be too stressed, uh, have fun with your friends as what Hanisa has also mentioned. Okay, my advice for the juniors would be seize every opportunity that you will get here. Um, I feel like um, I am who I am today because of all the opportunities that I took. Uh, I learned from it, I struggle from it but I overcome it. That's so that's my advice. Don't be afraid of anything. You you rule your own world.